we're limited on how we can run the district, the funds that we have. It, it, it all comes from taxes. A $20 million athletic field renovation project is causing controversy in the West York community. Many issues have been brought up, but taxes and funding are a recurring theme in the talks between parents, board members, and students. Fox 43, Sierra Williams joins us now in West Manchester Township. And Sierra, some people say they are against the board spending this kind of money. Yeah, that's right. And for people asking where that money is going to, well, take a look behind me. Now, this is what the school board president, uh, Lynn Kohler, says is out of date and that that $20 million uh, renovation would go towards things like upgrading the high school track, uh, the concession stands and the bleacher. But who's going to be footing that bill? Well, that will be the taxpayers. It would be the first tax increase for the district in six years. And the response from the meeting ranged from why taxpayers shouldn't have to pay more, but if they have to, it should go towards the future generation of students and not the fields. When I saw where we rank, I cannot believe that you want to spend this kind of money on track and field and softball and baseball and whatnot when we have failing students. Now, the board voted unanimously to move forward with the project after hearing numerous comments about not wanting to move forward. However, the board says prices are rising around the country, so the price tag isn't new. Many, if not all, school districts are faced with increasing operating costs. I mean, a couple of people mentioned about inflation and everything's going up. We, we all see it. All you have to do is go to the grocery store, put gas in your car. Home heating costs, I don't know about you, it's been the highest I've ever seen. That affects the district too. Uh, all, all those things roll right into our expenditures and we're limited on how we can run the district. Now, after giving his comment, there was a roll call vote to move the project onto the zoning and engineering phase, and every board member voted yes. Now, as for what's next, the board is going to introduce construction companies to see uh, what best packages are suited for this upgrade of this $20 million renovation, and that is the zoning and engineering phase. Now, the next meeting will take place on April 9th at 7 p.m. if you're interested in attending, but if you want a breakdown of what is going where, the price is the uh, upgrades. You can find that on our website at fox43.com. For now, in your county, Sayer Williams, Fox 43 News.